guys, it's uh, day 85. Um, I left off the last video in uh, Fayetteville, Pennsylvania. And uh, I wasn't able to get the video uploaded there. I didn't have good enough service. But uh, we ended up doing 10 more miles out of there. Um, it was like a 27.3 total for the day. And uh, we ended up catching the group that we had been trying to catch. That's why we did like a 16, 26, and 27. Um, and we caught them. And it was it rained overnight and it was uh, raining a little bit this morning which is why we kind of got a late start it's like nine o'clock now but uh they're all zeroing in the shelter because of the rain which is not happening at this point so uh that's kind of funny called them and then we left them but we're gonna be crossing the halfway point the official halfway point here in uh just a little bit and then uh we're gonna be doing like a 17 for today to some shelter. I don't know the name ever. But uh, yeah, I'll update y'all at the halfway point. What's up guys, it's uh, day 86, um, it's probably about 10.30, we've done probably about 5 miles. We stayed at James Fry shelter last night, um, and there was a lot of people there, it was a full shelter, which is usually the case when it's raining, but uh, most of them were just section hikers. They were all noobs! <laughs> or flip floppers, we've been running into a lot of flip floppers that have just started in Harpers Ferry, and I kind of feel bad for them that have been getting crapped on with the weather and it's kind of different for them because they're just still learning everything and you know we've done over I think over 1100 miles now and we're just like full stride everything's just a constant rhythm it's almost like we're in a trance we just do it over and over and over but uh today we're gonna be doing like 20 miles to get to Carlisle Pennsylvania and uh my grandparents were nice enough to uh, buy us a hotel room in Carlisle so that we can get out of the rain. Thanks, grandparents. Yeah, and uh, dry our stuff out. So yeah, I'll update y'all later today. So here we are walking through uh, the Cumberland Valley. It's literally flat like this for probably like 12, 15 miles of trail. Um, we just went through the town of Boiling Springs. We had lunch at some pavilion, but uh, it's only probably like six or five more miles until Carlisle. And Carlisle is only like half a mile off trail. So we're just gonna walk to the hotel. Um, hadn't been really raining much, which is nice. It's just been cloudy. <clears throat> and uh, the weather reports are saying it's supposed to clear up tomorrow. So gonna be looking forward to seeing the sun tomorrow, hopefully. But uh, I'll see y'all later. What's up, guys? So we're in the days in. Got all our stuff drying out. Sorry, the lighting in here kind of sucks. But I said like two video ba two videos back that I was gonna do a gear update, and I didn't do it. So I figured I'll wait until we get over halfway done, so I have some credibility to what I'm saying. But uh, the only like major change I've made to any of my gear is switching from the mini. Sawyer to the full size um, I I was getting to the point where the mini took so long to filter I was just getting dehydrated and not filtering water because it took so long and this is so much better like if you're debating the mini or the full size definitely get this and also there's I heard I've heard both sides some people say that the Sawyer fits onto platypuses, that is false. They do sometimes if you get them just right, but other times they leak and it's annoying. So you just use this bag and get the, the full size. That's all I have to say about that. But uh, I guess an honorable mention is these $2 flip flops from Hiawassee, Georgia, over a thousand miles, and they're still going pretty strong. They got a little bit of wear on them but solid camp shoes and then on to the dumb stuff I carry um, kite 
Nemo kite still going strong. I plan to carry it to Katahdin and fly it on Katahdin. Haven't had many chances to do that, but or fly it, but the day shall come. And then this is my this is my fishing pole. Um, I made it in Glasgow, and as you can see, that's gotten really wet. It's kind of gross, but all it is is some some type of joint. I think it's meant for a hose, and uh, I just put that end of a fishing pole into this nut and um, use Gorilla Glue so that detaches from the trekking pole and then if I, when I want to fish I will just extend it out and I have fishing line taped around the end of it so I think it's pretty ingenious and I probably get laughed a lot, at a lot for having a fishing pole and I've yet to use it so <laughs> It's pretty funny, but it doesn't add barely any weight. Um, only gear, it's not a gear problem, but the only thing that has happened to any of my gear is this. Um, and this actually really made me mad because I picked up a wrapper from a, from a tree trunk that someone had stuffed their trash in, and I put it in that pocket. And when I got to Cornelia's shelter, like I set everything up and I put my backpack up and uh, it was hanging on one of the posts. And when I woke up in the morning, I saw like little um, pieces of wrapper underneath my pack. And I was like, oh man, mouse got into my pack and ate some stuff. And I take my pack down and I see that. It chose to chew through the mesh and to get a wrapper that didn't have anything in it. So I was mad at that because it wasn't my trash and I just forgot about it. But what made me even more mad is freaking Dutch over here had a brownie and a Nutter Butter sitting by his head laying on the floor and it didn't go for that. <laughs> it chewed through my $200 pack. But it's not that bad. It doesn't really affect anything. But yeah, that's my gear update. See you later. So it's day 87, um, it's a beautiful day finally, um, the clouds moved out and the sun's out and uh, it's just really nice to finally have that again. But as you can see we're next to the river, uh, we've been walking along it for a while now and uh, I've actually been fishing here for about two hours as I showed you in the last clip of my like, kind of gear update. We have fishing poles and uh, we've been trying to catch this bass. I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't see it. It was probably about a one to two pound bass. And we've both got him to bite, but we have both failed to catch him. But that's all right. At least we've uh, finally done some fishing. So it's not completely useless carrying our fishing poles. Maybe we'll catch one later on. But we're going to be doing 17 miles to get into Duncannon. My mom sent me a package to the Doyle. I'm not really sure what it is. But uh, yeah, we'll probably be staying there too. Or we may not even make it and just stay at the shelter right oh, before no, it. Make it to today. It's 12.30 and we only have like three miles down. We could do it, but I don't know if we're going to. Uh, but yeah, catch y'all later on. What's a sunny day on the AT without a big old thunderstorm? We can't catch a break. It's about to start pouring, but uh, our rain gear. yeah, we just no shirts, pack cover, good to go. But we're like six miles from Duncannon, so we're just gonna slip across these rocks and and get there. I'll catch y'all in Duncannon. So here we are at uh, I think Hawk Rock. It's a pretty nice view, and uh, down there that's Duncannon, I believe. We got a pretty steep downhill to get to Duncannon. And uh, yeah, the thunderstorm blew over. As you can see in the distance behind Duncannon, it's raining pretty hard over there. But uh, yeah, it was pretty fun. It was just warm enough to where we didn't have to wear our rain gear. But yeah, sun's gonna probably come out. Maybe over there, not over here. The clouds are moving towards the sun. But yeah, see you in town. So it's the morning of day 88, and we're in Duncannon, Virginia at the Sunny Days Laundromat.
doing some laundry because our stuff smells so bad. And honestly, doing laundry doesn't really help. It still smells bad. It just gets the dirt out. But here, I'll step outside and show you at least what I've seen of Dunn Cannon. It's not very much. This is actually the trail right here. we coming off that bridge. Town. It's a pretty cool town. Got Zildarelli's Pizza. Um, the Doyle's just down there. Uh, it's kind of weird. Um, after we crossed the Mason-Dixon line, uh, the towns have kind of gotten different. And it, it feels like we're in the north. I'm from Mississippi, and it's, it feels kind of foreign being up north. But yeah, cool town. We're gonna try and uh, resupply, get our laundry done, do all the stuff you do in town in one day and try to Nero out of here. So I'll catch y'all later on. So here we are, we're leaving Dun Cannon now. Um, it's about 12.15. We resupplied for about four days to get us to Hamburg, Pennsylvania. As you can see, there's a white blaze. Just cuts right through town. So yeah, I'll catch y'all later on today or tomorrow. You can just see down there where uh, those two ro roads join up. Um, that's where the trail is. It's where we cross the, some whatever river it is, it starts with an S, it's some like Indian type name. But as you can see, it's a beautiful day and there's not a chance of thunderstorms today. So we will not be rained on. My rain jacket's in the bottom of my pack. And it's such a great feeling finally. It uh, should be, like this for a for a while now um probably about four or five days of no rain so that's really nice um yeah i'll catch y'all later got our first rattlesnake i think that's a timber that scared the absolute crap out of me as you can see skittle is videoing as well but we walked right up on here i probably jumped back three feet god he is Scary. He's loud though. Mm -hmm. Cool, I've never seen one. Mm -mm. Dare me to touch him? I'm not even making it. Never mind, he's turning I around. I don't like how he's turning around. That's freaky. As you can see, he's ready to fight. Beatles videoing as well, but yeah, he's, he's getting he's getting in defensive position. I don't like that. That's pretty cool. No, it's not. Freaky. Now don't don't do anything while I'm while I'm standing here. Hold on, let me get past him. Let me, let me get past him. <laughs> Before you do that bullshit. He's not happy. No, he's scary. Good God. That's awesome. That's not awesome. That's pretty awesome. So here we are, fishing at the end of the day. Oh, Dutch looks defeated. Look at that. Second trout of the day. The first one I got. Uh got away so i'm not going to unhook this one until i get this video done but look at that he's too small to eat oh he's hanging up the whole line but anyway i'm a successful fisherman catching fish on the at let's go baby adios hola amigos it is day 89 and here we are at some campsite pretty cool on this uh, river where uh, just upstream we caught those trout I think I caught caught two up there and one like super tiny one down there but as you can see we're cowboy camping tonight no rain so we're just gonna lay on the ground I'm cooking up a uh, Spanish pasta side no rice side it's probably one of my favorites Spanish rice is pretty freaking good and then I throw uh, some pepperonis in it and it's a good meal it's my second rice side tonight but uh, we did like 18 ish 19 miles today and uh, we actually did it by like 1 30 so it was nice getting to camp early chilling out and uh, and fishing so yeah, I caught our first fish today. So we're not we're not failures. We got our fishing poles, we caught fish. So yeah, I'll update y'all tomorrow. We're gonna be going to the 501 shelter where I believe you can order pizza. 
But if not, it's at a road gap so we could go into town. But yeah, see you tomorrow. It's uh, day 90. Um, in the morning, we've just been hiking probably five miles. And look at that giant snapping turtle down there. He's huge. Yeah, that's huge. Let's go catch him. They get bigger, though. That's so cool. He's giant. Here he goes. So here we are at the end of day 90, about a 23 mile day. As you can see, we got this cool reservoir. It's dammed up. We got a stream running off. And we're just gonna be camping up here. This is the second really cool camp spot we've had in two nights. I can see some trout swimming in this uh, little reservoir. So they're probably gonna try and catch me one. Hopefully I can get a big one this time that I can eat. But yeah, really cool campsite. Pretty easy day. Pennsylvania is so easy. It's kind of rocky, but it's flat, so it equals out. Yeah, I was thinking about swimming too. But see you tomorrow. Well, we didn't catch any fish. Uh, they just weren't biting tonight. But uh, that's all right, because I packed out pizza. It's okay, Dutch. It's not okay. I saw a big one that I wanted. <laughs> What's going on guys? It's actually the uh, end of day 91. We did like 18 miles to get into Port Clinton. I actually have to go 0.3 more to get to the road to go to Hamburg. I'm pretty sure that's the road right there, but the trail goes along it for 0.3 and then decides to cross it. Um, it was, I finally have hit the rocks in Pennsylvania and I absolutely hate them. Um, today was just super humid, um, super hot, it honestly reminded me of Mississippi and I was I would never want to hike to Mississippi so I was not having fun today um, needless to say but today's over with going into town um, there's nowhere to stay in town so I don't know what we're gonna do but objective number one is food and then I'm gonna upload this video so yeah I think this is gonna be the last clip so I'll see y'all in the next video